friends today we are going to discuss about how to integrate GPS and GIS for using urban planning GIS is an evolving technology for using urban planning it has been using being used in different fields GPS are becoming very effective tools for GIS data capture the GIS user community benefit from the use of the GPS for location data capture in various GIS applications. The GPS can easily be linked to a laptop in the field and with the appropriate software. GPS can help in several aspects of the construction of accurate and timely GIS database. GIS is also about the object and the object which will be mapped. These objects are referred to as features and are used to build a GIS database. It is the power of GPS to precisely locate these features which adds so much to the utility of the GIS system. On the other hand, without feature data, a coordinate location is of little use. So what are the different features which can be mapped in a GIS system? There are three types of the features which can be mapped. Points, lines and area. A point feature is a single GPS coordinate position which is identified with a specific objective like the location of Qutub Minar, like the location of different landmarks in a city. Line. A line feature is a Correction, collection of the GPS position which are identified with the same object and linked it together to form a line. So line features can be road network, railway lines, streets, etc. Polygon, an area feature is very similar to a line feature except that the ends of the lines are tied to each other to form a closed area. So polygon features can be used to map the area boundary of a school, the boundary of a village, the boundary of a compound, the boundary of different land parcels. Categories of the description for a feature are known as attribute of the feature. In GIS, we call it attributes. Attributes can be thought of it as a questions which are asked about the feature. For example, the attribute of the feature of house would be color, cost, size, height. A feature is the object which will be mapped by GPS system. The ability to describe a feature in terms of Multi-layered database is essential for successful integration with the GIS system. It is possible to map the location of each house on a city block and simply label each coordinate position as a house. But the additional information such as size, height, etc. will provide the ability to sort and classify the houses by these categories. Questions asked by the attribute must have an answer. The answer to the questions posed by the attributes are called values. An appropriate value for the attribute like height will be 6 meter, 40 meters, it will be the value. After collecting the same type of the data for each house which are mapped, a database can be created. The feature list is a database which contains a list of the features which will be mapped as well as associated attributes for each feature. Feature list also contains a selection of the appropriate values for each attribute. When a feature list is used in the field, the first step is to select the feature to be mapped. Once the feature is selected, the attributes for that feature are automatically listed. A value for each attribute can then be selected from the displayed list of predetermined values.
objective of making a feature list is to simplify the process of data entry. For integration of the GPS data with GIS system is to export the GPS and feature data into GIS system. During a process, a GIS layer is created for each feature in the GPS. The process of exporting a GPS data which contains values for house, road, load features, created a road layer, lot layer, etc. into GIS system. These layers can then be integrated with the existing GIS data. Was the GPS data has been exported, the full power of the GIS system can be used to classify and evaluate the data and then we can have the different outputs of the thank you thank you for discussion we will discuss more in some other lecture